Hey guys, I wanted to show you my new refrigerator. This is just my first impression and a little information about it. I haven't used it yet, so I can't speak to its quality yet, but it is cute as a button, I think. I'll put the dimensions on the screen, but it is, I was looking for one that would fit behind the driver's seat of the Prius, and I'll insert a video of us doing that in a minute. So this is what I found. And it was only $157 on Amazon, of course. And it only weighs about 18 and a half pounds. So it is, most people can move it even with food in it, I would imagine. It has a, it's 12 volt and it also has a 110 plug. It can be a refrigerator or a freezer, not both at the same time, but one or the other. So it goes from minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 59 degrees Fahrenheit or eight minus 18 Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. It is in Celsius, so you're gonna have to convert it yourself. I'll probably put a little sticky note there telling me what's freezer and what's refrigerator. It is a 19 quarts or 18 liter refrigerator. Yeah, you can fit 28 cans or 16 bottles of soda or whatever, like the 18 ounce bottles, just for reference. There will be a link in the description and also I have an Amazon storefront now and it'll be in that also if you wanna see my other products that I recommend. And if you go and if you click the link, you can also see like the inside dimensions and everything. So right now I'm running it off the Ocmo. I got given this several years ago. I actually don't recommend it as far as running a refrigerator. The problem is, so this has a 12 volt plug or a 110. Thankfully, because uh, these Ocmos, if the 12 volt isn't getting a constant draw, like when the refrigerator cycles off, they shut off automatically and then they don't turn back on again unless you press the button. So you leave your car and your refrigerator is off. But I found that if I plug, use the 110 and plug it into the Ocmo, that even when the refrigerator cycles off, it doesn't shut off. So unless you're using a 110, I do not recommend Ocmo. But this is what I have. My Goal Zero was sold with the man. So one thing I don't like is if I need to change this back to a 12 volt, say I'm going on a long drive and want to use the 12 volt instead of the Ocmo, I'm going to have to reach in and unplug it here to get to plug in the 12 volt plug because it has its own. I wish that there was a connection here that I could just change this and then that would be a 12 volt, you know, it'd be much easier to get to because this is going to kind of be in the center of the car. So it's going to be tricky, but I, my plan is to just keep the Ocmo plugged into the car. So when I'm driving, this is charging and hopefully that'll, so you have to see how long it lasts. I don't know yet. So let me just give you a view of this. It has two nice handles. You know, I mean, this has got a very yeah, cheap plasticky feel to it. So I'll have to see how it does. It has, a, the vents are only on the right side, right here in the side and in the back, but, but all on the right side. 
So you don't, you don't have to worry about the other side. It's totally just closed off. So here's the panel, you the on off and you adjust it. Oops. You adjust the temperature there. So I know five degrees Celsius is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about what you need for, for a refrigerator. I think they actually, it comes in a smaller size too. At least it did when I bought this one, this was the bigger one. Let me show you the inside. So there's no latch inside, but you do feel a little bit of suction here when you open it, it takes a little effort. So this seal is keeping it closed snugly. So it's got a chain here to keep it from falling open. It's got a little chart that tells you the Celsius temperatures for different foods. And what's really cute is it comes with this little basket. So there's the inside. So it's interesting, there's actually no vents in the inside, but it gets, so the walls just get very cold and that's how uh, it's keeping things cold. So we have the little basket if you want to put stuff there. Later on in the video, I'll put some food in it and get, give you an idea of like how much it holds. It's not that big, but I needed to fit behind the seat, so I couldn't go very big. What I could do is what something that Lulu's Way does, if you ever watch her. She uses hers as a freezer. She freezes a bunch of those ice packs, like six of them, and then she has a huge regular cooler that she takes out the ice packs, put them in a cooler, and then alternates them every day. So there'll be three in here frozen all the time, and the other three will be in a fridge, and she switches them out. So I could do that if, like, when I get a minivan and I want to use it, need a bigger cooler, I could do something like that and just have use this as a freezer. But I do go to the store often because I never know what I want to eat, so it's, I don't go shopping for a week at a time. It's usually just a few days. All right, here's just a, some sample of some things I have in the refrigerator. See if I wanted to put one of these, that does fit. Maybe some eggs in here. I probably wouldn't carry that many. Some pickles. And some bacon over here, some cheese. And I got a couple of yogurts. Here we do it like that. Not a lot, but it's probably good for one or two people. Oh, there's an onion. Probably want to put things in smaller containers whenever you could. Feels like something's keeping it. Yeah. So I noticed it opened easier because this chicken was in the way. So you do want to be careful. Make sure that it it does seal. It's not bad. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll do a review after I've used it. Probably it's going to get a lot of use on my trip in June. I don't know if I'm going to be going many places before that. But I will probably put it in the car and just see how long the Ocmo lasts. Although I don't really drive much to work, so... I'll let you know how I like it and how it works out. And uh, the link will be in the description and the link to my Amazon storefront if you want to see some other products that I recommend and that I enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.